Hello, and welcome to another episode of Jen's Basement. This is my creature. And I want to show you guys today um, just how I did this rhino painting. It's, a, it's just a quick demo, and um, I'm going to ex be explaining at the end of the video the purpose for the painting. Um, so here we go. All right. So when you're going to do a big painting, and first thing you're going to do is probably prime it. So forget about doing details. And get that big old brush out and just start smacking the paint right on there. Rub it around. Once you got it primed, then you can start painting in the actual subject matter. That's what I did, at least. This is acrylic paint and I'm just using a regular burn umber to draw it out really loosely. I'm just blocking out the forms at first. I feel there's a lot of freedom when it comes to uh, drawing it out with uh, loosely. Then I start working in some opaque paint. This is all really, I'm just getting it on there because this is a lot of canvas to cover and I have to prime it in order to build up the layers. I'm adding in some darks just to separate shadow and give it more presence. Again, I'm just filling in the background. This is just to get away from that translucent, burn umbery kind of stained look. I just want to fill everything in so it looks painted. Now I'm just going to start working the paint right in there. It's much easier to glide over top because I've primed the rhino with layers of paint. I'm kind of getting just a base layer in order to paint on top of that. So right now, I mean, they look kind of scary, but as you can see in these pictures, I, I added in um, fine line work and I literally just drew it in there. And then I'm gonna go in with some highlights, go around the structure of the face to bring out wrinkles more, the texture and the rhino skin. This is a speckling technique just to break up the pattern of the skin a little more, just so it's not flat in certain areas. You can kind of brush it around if you'd like. You can see that I started from here, but then I added over top the detail. When you wait to add the detail, you realize that detail is just an illusion to cover on top of um, the base. I go in here just to add some highlights. This is just all to break up the skin more. That's just to give it a little more dimension, adding most of the work into the faces, bring them forward. So basically from here on out, it's just detail and refinement and, you know, adding highlights or medium or shadows anywhere I went with it. Um, I did not use just pure black because I see that black tends to be a dead color but I used a variety of different colors to um, make the wrinkles um, as an artist animals are important to me it's where I get a lot of my inspiration the whole reason why I did this painting was to, to bring awareness to an endangerment of a species. The reason being for its 
near extinction is because of poaching. So I just wanted to make a statement, I suppose, on that. Because there's only just two white rhinos left and they're female. I don't want to see these animals go. I don't want to see extinction of amazing, beautiful, prehistoric looking animals. Um, and that's just the whole purpose of the, the painting. And that's all I have to say. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Oh,